Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. Bottom right hand corner, we have Exit starting as the Peach Terran. Bottom left hand corner, we have Kiko starting as the Red Terran. This is going to be on Wavelet. Once again, I don't know why I always like revealing Wavelet. Like, you guys know this map by now, if you've been keeping an eye on all this. Um, Wavelet. You know all the background if you don't. I think the New Worlds Contest Season 2 is on the way. Keep an eye out for it. That last match was incredible. If you did not catch it, go watch it. It was... So Exit and Kiko having an absolutely incredible match on Heartbreak Ridge. Wavelet, I feel like this map might favor Kiko's style. We'll have to see, though. I, again, don't put anything past Exit. Because, yeah, again, some, this is the flat thing. I feel like Exit has... It's almost like these guys are opposite players as far as game style. Kiko has really strong macro, but oftentimes his game sense can be lacking. And when he loses matches, I think it's he loses them oftentimes because of his game sense. Exit, comparatively, has S-tier game sense, but sometimes his macro is lacking. And when he loses matches, oftentimes it's because his macro uh, was behind, uh, where it wasn't able to keep up with where his game sense wanted to take him sometimes. So it's almost like the... Uh, it's like a... I don't know, yin yang of TVT that we're seeing here. And we'll see which one ends up winning. So what's stronger? Are Kiko's macro mechanics baseline stronger than Exit's game sense? I guess that's the question. Wavelet being a more macro or So Heartbreak Ridge obviously favors more of the game sense. So despite the fact that Exit behind massively on supply, actually skipping upgrades, so not even bothering to get level three weapons, ends up pulling the match, even despite the fact being a huge amount of supply down. Just able to starve Kiko out uh, through the long long game. So just incredible game sense that we saw in that match. But Kiko now going to Wavelet. In Wavelet, one of those more macro-oriented maps. Grabbing that gas on that refinery. Has that barracks uh, building both players. Nothing cheesy. Looks like we're just seeing a standard match this far. Kiko scouting upper left-hand corner. Exit scouting upper right. So both players potentially going to end up in the dark. Or potentially going to... Basically, they'll probably be in similar scouting inf uh, scouting positions. We'll have to see. Interesting location for a supply depot to follow this out. I'm always interested to see where players put their supply depots. So Kiko, Kiko, blah, blah, Kiko likes putting this supply depot behind here. I assume to cut out that SCV uh, back mining route. Exit. Seeing that SCV cross there to the north. But anyway... Just makes fun matchups between these two guys. I almost want to see that this is kind of a... I'm trying to think if there's equivalent players out there. And if you guys are really into the foreign scene or if you're really, really into the pro scene, I would love to hear it's like... I don't know. Who's like a really passive macro Zerg to go up against Quanro? Because Quanro is like that aggressive expert, I'm trying to think. I digress. Two Marines on the front door with that SCV. I think that's going to be a sufficient blockade. We've got two Marines as well from Kiko. Single factory from both players. I th assume that both players are going to go for... No, never mind. Exit, giving up a bit of scouting information. So small advantage to Kiko overall. He's just going to go ahead and, with a degree of risk, grab that natural expansion. Kiko pressing forward with those three Marines. So going to get a scout denial. Does have a fourth Marine. Dropping a starport to follow this up. So machine shop starport. So Kiko going to get aggressive. As far as a follow-up. Bunker being placed for exit. With the machine shop and siege take. Now, if this turns into a drop. I think it might be advantageous for Kiko overall. Moving forward with several marines. Now holding up short. So four marines and an SCV. On location. Starport's building a wraith. Siege tech and a siege tank being built behind this. Counter starport from Exit as well. But Exit has 400 minerals in the command center, which is going to reduce his troop count comparatively. But he's got the reinforcement location, which potentially is going to give him an advantage overall. Siege tank looking to scout on that near line. The barracks lifting off, providing scouting information. It's going to see those four Marines in that SCV. Siege tank's finished. Siege tank, actually, a siege tank, I think, was started before even the siege tank. There's that wraith. To press forward. The Wraith might end up being an X factor here. Those Marines, oh, one Marine down, because it's only two Marines to try to defend a lot of territory. A bunker being built 
on the front door. Second gas already being grabbed by exit. I'm not sure I like this play from Kiko. Two siege tanks out. We'll have to see if that Wraith can be the difference here. So this tank sieging on the near ground. Exit working on siege tank himself. He's building his own Wraith, but keep in mind that it's going to be Wraith on Wraith. This Wraith very likely going to be able to take out a siege tank. This bunker being pressed in. Is an SCV going to make its way across? Several SCVs and more siege tanks making the way across. Kiko needs to win the game off this contain, is what needs to happen, though. Because currently, he's behind a base. Exit is going to have superior gas overall. The Marines firing there off that gas. It looks like the Wraith moving in, taking some damage, peeling back out. Here's the initial Wraith. Siege tank going to finish. These two Marines backing off just in the nick of time. Some counter siege on location and a Wraith, second Wraith being produced. So right now, I don't know that Kiko's going to be able to hold this with the closer reinforcement locations. He does have that barracks, but for how long? This Wraith trying to attack. Let's see if these Wraith are going to just try to get an advantageous engage. There are Marines right there. Plus SEVs nearby to repair. They're going to dive into the main. They still want to take out that Wraith. That Wraith is going to distract him. An engineering bay being built. So they're still going to maintain. Yeah, they're, they have not been damaged at all. Now picking away at the Marines. This could be... These Wraith could be the X Factor. That wins this match for Kiko. Which is a rare statement in a TVT. Superior amount of siege tanks on the line. One Wraith behind this. These Wraith being built. A third Wraith alongside. Kiko now grabbing his expansion behind this. Looking to make this a little bit of a longer term game. Missile turret and an engineering bay starting to float forward. Supply even. As far as worker, sorry, worker count even. Kiko ahead in the raw supply count. He's trying to get his own engineering bay behind this. And now exit potentially in a bit of trouble. He's continuing to try to build some wraith. He's trying to get a turret up on the high ground. The factory's been silent. So it's three siege tanks versus three. This engineering bay taking damage to the front. And Kiko's doing it. Siege tank taking some free shots to the north. Really pinning him into this natural expansion. And if Exit does not break out of this, that's going to be game. And Exit right now losing reinforcement locations as Kiko taking a nice angle from the north. Getting additional turrets up, and he's also having continuing to maintain the superior wraith count. Does have that turret up. Still no second factory. A single goliath being produced alongside. But overall, Kiko's gotten an economic lead behind this. That macro playing out. In his base, he's still sitting at one factory. He's just been pumping reinforcements to the front. Getting nice micro. The one advantage for exit is he's got those... More SCV closer to do more rapid repairs, potentially. But this is still three SCVs on the back line. So I guess keep that in mind. There's three SCVs that aren't mining for Kiko. So it's only a one-worker lead. But there's also several SCVs that are pulled off the line here for exit. On defense. Looking to provide closer repair, uh, repair locations. Second starport being dropped from exit. With a control tower as well. The Wraith coming back to home base. It looks like they want to go ahead and pick that barracks off. To again... Potentially get a little bit more of an economic lead in that regard. Force another barracks to be dropped from exit. Vespin guys are not yet taken. Should be taken momentarily. Additional factories being plopped down for Kiko. So at the moments for exit to get back into this match are starting to decline. Exit does have level 1 weapons being upgraded. But you can see this is a pretty tight seal already on the front. There's going to be a small window, potentially, Cloak is being upgraded, where maybe if Exit can get his economy rolling strong enough, he can get enough Wraith to punch through the air, potentially, but there's still a turret on location to deal with this, and four and two Marines. Two Marines left in the bunker. And still a barracks forward. Yeah, you can just see where reinforcements even are going to have trouble sneaking into this. I think Kiko might have done it. Levin supply lead continuing to press forward with his macro. A turret to the south just in case there was going to be a counter drop or something sneaking underneath. Some siege tanks are using that high ground advantage. It looks like take out take out that bunker to the south. The Marine's going to exit. Ooh, taking one shot though. 
before that happens. The engineering bay trying to sneak forward. Siege tank's being repaired. So currently Kiko holding this. Yeah, and you can see that reinforcement line being picked off. The Wraith trying to micro to push that engineering bay back are being successful in doing so. Cloak right there. These one Wraith getting picked off. They need to be careful to stay out of that turret detection range. And it looks like Exit has managed to get a slight air advantage. But this is still six siege tanks on his front. That are pressing in. And Kiko behind this has managed to do a fantastic job of getting ahead and micro. Using the high ground advantage to peek into this. Picking off siege tanks. It looks like Exit is starting to break out. Question is, is, is it enough? Or is it too late? Did he already fall behind too much economically? Honestly, Kiko, he doesn't realize he's in this position, but he could just unsiege back out and end up having an overall lead. Three factories getting charm boosters, getting a Valkyrie again in the midst of this. Exit is going to have level one weapons more rapidly, which is going to make that those siege tanks hit harder. The Valkyries, you just hear the random explosions that happen in the midst of this. Getting a bit of air control. It's like even, it's funny because even with a few cloaked Wraith, just having one uncloaked, they're able to get those rockets and allow that splash to happen on location. Exit, taking a shot to peel forward and take out that, some of these forward siege tanks. Only two siege tanks left. Two Wraith, a tank, and a Marine. An engineering building being built in the upper left-hand corner for reasons unknown. Kiko still with an economic lead overall. He's behind in the level in, in the weapons upgrade. It's two starports and two factories versus three factories and soon to be five factories and one star, starport behind this. And if Kiko can just hold on for a little while, get his upgrades up, get some... With that superior economy, he should be able to roll this. A couple of Valkyries again, press again. I love seeing Valkyries in TVT. It's not a typical thing. Three kills on this Valkyrie, by the way. Exit regrouping. He's got some breathing room to reinforce to the south. Think momentarily he might be able to break out. More reinforcements making their way forward. So might not have a window here. Exit moving forward. Units diving in. Exit not sieging the front siege tanks. SCV's coming off the line. Pressing into this. This is more SCVs that are getting expended on the front. The Wraith trying to cloak forward. The Wraith, the SCV is actually just walking across that line, getting wiped out. So Exit manages to break out of this contain, but he's down to 28 SCVs, which is practically half the count that Kiko has. I don't know that he's in position to take a third. Kiko going ahead and grabbing a third in the upper left-hand corner. And Kiko still maintaining some semblance of a contain. Wiping out what's left of that Air Force. Exit, if he's going to win this, actually needs to attack now. Level 1 weapons upgrading. Level 1 armor. He is going to have a slight upgrade advantage. But he's just so far behind in economic output. Kiko continuing to swat those Wraith out of the air. The Valkyrie now working on that engineering bay. Could you imagine, like, being a worker in that engineering bay, looking out, seeing just, like, explosive rockets of these Valkyries outside? That would be a great cinematic. Where it's like you're just, you know, trying to do your studying, and then you just see the, this, this airplane outside just... You're floating in the air and just explosions all over the place, and you're just trying to scribble down mathematical equations as quickly as you can. Not that they're actually being researched or utilized, I suppose, of all. It's kind of interesting that the engineering bay... Like, produces the marine upgrades, comparatively. It should almost be like, I don't know, the genetic... Uh, whatever. Anyway, Kiko continuing to press into this. Still holding a semblance, and he's got sizable reinforcements now moving up. And now, I... Yeah, I don't think Exit's going to be able to pull this out from here. But... He has surprised us before. Still has his two bases operational. He's still got a decent amount of minerals at his main, but he's no prospects of a third just yet. He's still on two machines, or sorry, he's up to three factories. He's got three machine shops down, producing a lot of siege tanks out of one. Maybe with some vultures, he could 
break through, but Goliath's now pressing forward into this, and Kiko just diving in. Only two siege tanks defending this, and then Goliath's able to punch through. Yeah, it's just overwhelming at this stage. Backing out because there is that siege tank to the north, but Kiko doesn't have to press into this. SCV's now transferring to that upper left, so it's just going to get worse from this point on because that's going to be three bases worth of, worth of production, plus it looks like, I mean, these five factories have been rolling for a while. This is going to be the six behind this. And Exit is going to end up getting starved out of being able to take an additional base. Kiko actually already camping and grabbing a fourth expansion. That's greed. So Contained him already has some turrets down just in case a dropship was trying to sneak out. Has an SUV scouted, scouting in that bottom, uh, in that three o'clock location, just in case that was, and it's just going to be a starvation match from here. And this is kind of the boa constrictor style that I think Kiko likes playing the most. Where he's like, I'm going to get an advantage. I'm going to just press through with my macro, and I'm going to hold you back. The Valkyrie continuing to press forward, working on that barracks. Kiko actually just going to press in on the southern edge. Let's see if he can reinforce. Again, has a huge supply lead. I'm just wondering where his army is. It looks like they're they're having trouble by factory positioning, perhaps delaying reinforcements a little bit. And in this war of attrition, Kiko's happy to trade troops now. He's like, go ahead. You drop troops, I'll drop troops. Engineering bay now down. So those alkalites that were trying to do their studying die in a fire explosion. I'd like to hope that they can parachute out and we just can't see them on the screen. Barracks going to be taken out, which I think is maybe for the second time in this match. Exit trying to draw it back. I don't think he's going to get an SCV to it in time, though. Nope. Managed to get the SCV there. Still with the skeleton crew of siege tanks on the front. Defend all of this. The Wraith actually just looking at them, and I assume laughing. More siege tanks stealing from the north, and there is now an SCV transfer to the upper right. So this is going to be four bases versus two. With plenty of factories behind this. And all Kiko needs to do, honestly, he could just put the rally points on the front door. And that should be it. This Valkyrie taking a bit of free Wraith damage. Behind all this. So now Exit, yeah, he's managed to defend his front, but his main's almost mined out. And honestly, as soon as his main mi mines out, I'm going to... I would expect him to call GG there because I don't think there's any breaking out at this stage. Kiko widening the contain a little bit. Has plenty of reinforcements across the map. He just doesn't have enough raw material to press through this. He's moving some siege tanks to the, the southern line to try to poke away at this. He is getting some free damage right there. Is Kiko having some trouble managing his troops? But again, Kiko can afford to lose this where Exit cannot. Dropship with some vultures trying to maybe get some counter economic damage. But here's the thing. Even if it drops the main, which that's basically been evacuated at this stage, turret's going to see it as well. Wow, is it even going to get there? 17 health. And there's turrets, yeah, alongside. So this drop isn't even going to make it. Some vultures being plopped out. Maybe they can get to the natural expansion. I don't even know that they're going to be able to get to the natural expansion. So able to escape out, but this is kind of like that last desperation force. And actually, if I was exit and I saw this base up active in the upper left-hand corner, which you might find momentarily, I would just GG right there. Exit still being contained. Has a few more Wraith, just a skeleton crew of siege tanks. Now there's... Yeah, so he's dropping to the north. You might be able to get a lot of SCV kills here. So found this base. Kiko actually grabbing another expansion. Just continuing to play at macro mode. So yeah, the Vulture's going to wander up. The Vulture's coming off the line to have some battle SCV action. I think this is just catharsis. So there are reinforcements going up to go ahead and clear this out. But I think this just might be catharsis right now for Exit. He's like, yeah, okay. I'm contained. I probably lost this match at this stage. But I'm going to wipe out every SCV in the upper left hand corner. Some reinforcements being pulled to deal with this. That dropship's down, so we're not going to see anything to follow. Another dropship has been produced. We're going to see a third dropship, but here's the thing. The supply dif difference is just too great. There are level 2 weapons, level 1 armor, though. Just versus level 1 uh, weapons, no armor upgrades yet for Kiko. So there is a supply advantage. But still, I don't know that four bases, soon to be three bases worth of economy, and all of the factories behind this, plus uh, positional advantage, is going to be enough for Exit to, br uh, to break through this. A bunch of SCVs being loaded up. So desperation tactics. Is this is this going to be SCV bombs to the front? I think this is just exit messing around at this stage. 
protecting his SCVs because he wants to try to find another base somewhere out there. No, he's going to use them as bombs. SCV bombing the, the high siege tank line to try to break out of this containment. More reinforcements streaming across the map. Kiko pressing forward with the Goliaths. Keep in mind, Exit's troops hit hard. But again, it just seems like, yeah, overwhelming economy. The rest of the troops peeling forward. There's GG from Exit. So we're going to go to a game three here in the loser's bracket. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.